Hi everyone, this is Karen Swart from Jesus to My Rescue Ministries and uh, it's an honor to be with you again today. In our backyard we have this beautiful big tree with these lovely green leaves and I just love staring at this tree. It's huge, it's beautiful and I can absolutely just experience the love and presence of God when I look at the garden and the beauty of, of, of nature. Now, I've noticed that the leaves do not look the same as they normally do. They've got spots on them. They're not as green. And I've noticed that there are some holes, which means something's eating at it. And the gardener has actually mentioned to us before that when that happens, there is a sickness and it needs to be dealt with by treating the actual roots of the tree because that's where the insects are and it needs to be killed so that by the next round when the leaf, new leaves come out in the new spring then um, in fact it will be beautiful again and it, it will be healthy and it actually brought me to the to the topic of today what are the things in our lives the roots actually in our lives which we need to get rid of uh, many times people struggle with earthly things, moral things. They get angry. They don't know how to control anger. They uh, have a challenge in forgiving other people. They struggle to get along with people. They break themselves down. They bully other people. And I, and I often wonder why do people do these things? But then I realize it's because there's a root that hasn't been uprooted in their lives. Things that were placed there, which is not the truth about who they are. They, they have an identity in Christ and Jesus loves them. But they have made maybe wrong decisions in their lives and might, maybe they still do. And it has a result in, in the fact that your leaves, the leaves that you produce, your life is not pretty. Or you continuously are sick because you struggle to, to work through things and forgive people and let go. And other times it's because people are hurting from way back in their past when maybe they were bullied, they were de uh, degraded by other people, or they were actually told that they're worth nothing and maybe molested as well. And they've walked with these things. They are now adults, but they've walked with these things. My question for you today the things that I've mentioned now are just a few, but if you are one of those people struggling with these things, I want to encourage you today that we pray together and ask the Lord to uproot this root out of your life completely in the name of Jesus. God says to us in James 1 from verse 21, Therefore get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is so prevalent and humbly except the word planted in you which can save you. God doesn't want anything else to rule in your life. He wants his word to be planted in you. He wants his spirit to live inside of you, equipping you every single day to face challenges, to forgive people, and to speak healing, and to live a good life. So I want to pray with you today, and I also want to encourage you today. Go and reflect on what I've said. Go and look at the things in your life which keep on reoccurring, because that means when you treat them, you only treat the symptoms. No, you've got to get rid of the actual root. And if you don't know what the root is, then ask the Holy Spirit to reveal it to you. And remember, it might be uncomfortable for a while in the change that actually will, will, will occur. It might mean having to say no to friends that have contaminated you. It might mean having to sit down and working through your past experience and your past so that things can come back and you can actually forgive people who have hurt you and then to set them free so that you can heal. That means to uproot things that shouldn't be in your life. Let us pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we glorify you and I bring each and every person listening to this message right now before you. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray that your Holy Spirit will reveal to them the things that need to be uprooted in their lives and that they will make time to reflect and then to get rid of the things that are contaminating them. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for right decisions. In Jesus' name, I now pray by the blood of Jesus Christ with authority that you've given me. We pray and we literally uproot the things that are wrong in our lives and we cast it away in Jesus' name, praying the blood of Jesus over us and asking you, Holy Spirit, to fill us up and make and be part of every decision that we are. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lots of love. Have a splendid day. Bye-bye.